Hello everybody and welcome back to my Tomb Raider Let's Play. Let's continue, shall we? Now I think there's a secret tomb somewhere nearby which I may be showing in this video if I am correct about that. I think so, it's been such a while and I've been playing a lot of Rise of the Tomb Raider lately. So yeah, using the one climbing axe kind of threw me a little bit there at the start because in Rise of the Tomb Raider you have two climbing axes that you use. But yeah, I think there's a tomb. Yeah, there is. That symbol over there, that, this symbol here, indicates that there's a tomb nearby. And of course, the pop-up just then, where it says secret tomb nearby, is also a huge clue right there. But yeah, here we go. Oh, hello. Numbers. Some kind of coordinates. Did someone want these to be found? Tomb of the Unworthy. That's nice, I guess. Oh, it's this one. Gilded figures, servants of the sun queen. Sacrifice, murder. There's no record of these kinds of rituals in ancient Yamatai. Unless it was erased from the texts. Just trying to remember what it is to do here and yeah now I remember. So probably shouldn't have pressed that. Ah yeah I shouldn't have done that. I'm an idiot. Alright. Should not have knocked that thing off straight away. Because I'm gonna have oh it's it's already risen up again, it's fine. Because ideally you need to go this way first to get the torch lit and then come back here and burn these things off like so and then push the other thing off and then make our way across Like so. This may have been built in honor of her priestesses. Incredible.
you know, on these sections you can't really run. You can only really walk. Basically, there's no sprint button in this game. So, literally, when Lara runs, she runs. When she walks, she walks. You don't really have a um, say in the matter there, but oh well. Then um, I was gonna say that didn't go as well as I had hoped. Oh, never mind. He's still there. for a minute there. I thought he had fallen off the cliff. And again, I was gonna say that went a lot better than I had thought. Or well, it didn't go as well as I had thought. It's a mixture though, because I have no idea how he fell in the first place. He just whacked into me and suddenly fell off. Oh well, not gonna complain. I have spoken to some of the villagers on the island. I was expressly forbidden to leave the palace, but this did not stop me. My duties here are clear. I must learn the truth, but the stories I uncovered defy belief. Rumors abound of the queen's communion with the spiritual world. They say she commands the sun and the rain, that her lands are abundant by her will alone. <laughs> this is certainly nonsense, but what can be the cause of such whispers? Is this how she controls her people? By engaging their primitive superstitions? I saw absolute reverence in their eyes when they spoke of her. Yet, I also sense fear. Her people are treated with fairness, taxed reasonably, and are well protected by her storm god. No wonder some of them even pray to her. It's as if she were more than just a queen to them. Spreading discontent through her people may well be a harder task than I imagined. Find the communications console. It'll look like a bunch of old switchboards. 
Okay, I'll let you know when I find it. Telling you, Reyes, it's mechanical, not an electrical problem. Now, Alex. <coughs> uh, this looks like it might be uh, an electrical problem. You think? <coughs> oh, hello. Hey, is this little fox, oh, huh? Yeah. She's cute, <laughs> huh? Hey, it's yeah. Alicia. Alicia. It's my like daughter. That. Oh. 14 years old. And smarter than you'll ever be. She must must get that from her father. Don't give him the attention. And yeah. I'll take a look at this. Probably electrical. From her father. Nice one. So I was on the walk, right? Doing a spot of midnight fishing. Hey, Grim. Time to button down the hatches. I be right with you. So I was on the lock, right? And this thing comes looming at me, looming out of the water it was. So I give her a old Glasgow kiss, you know. <laughs> Get shot of trouble nine times out of ten, that does. Took me a week to sleep that night off, and I've not touched a drop since. See you at dinner, Sam. <laughs> All right. Can we take B-roll, please? Thank you. Dr. James Whitman, filler 15, take three, and action. Okay, now take a firm grip, and then slice him down the belly, like this. Yeah, you got it. Good Lord, cut, cut, cut! Cut. Uh, is, is he coming back? Uh, I'll go get him. Renowned archaeologist. I discovered the world renowned archaeologist, Mr. Dr. I don't James cut Whitman. Of fish. It's just a fish. It's I fine. It's just You're a gonna fish. be fine. This damned reality TV business. I'm, I'm meant to be bringing culture to the people, Sam, not dinner. Uh, no offense, Jonah. The audience demands content, Dr. Whitman. You know that. So until we find the Lost Kingdom, we need footage like this. Come on, let's just take it from the top, okay? We're gonna make you look like Gordon Ramsay in editing. Dr. James Whitman, filler 15, take four, action. Okay, now take a firm grip, and then slice him down the belly, like that. I've studied them so much, I can see charts on the back of my eyelids. But if I'm not right about Yamatai being in the Dragon's Triangle... I remember when you found that in one of your father's days. You ran up and showed it to me dressed in your penguin pajamas. <laughs> I was five <laughs> years old. It was my first find. Yeah. You've got great instincts, girl. You just have to trust them. Mm. That's what my father used to say. Now, there was a man that ran on instinct. For better or worse. He would have been so proud of you, Lara. We're getting closer to the storm. Well, whatever's coming, we'll get through it, eh? <laughs> oh, 
Okay, Lara. Pull yourself together. They're counting on you. Well, we're actually going to end this video here. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all next time.